Hello there everybody, how's it going and how have you been? Welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Enigma Lock. In the last episode, the Nuzlocke finally started after... I struggled for about 10 minutes to get to San Gem Town and finish wading my way out of the tutorial. And as the lock started, I promptly tried getting some encounters. Here on Route 202, I ran into a Zuicune of all things and... Figuring that I probably couldn't catch it and it would probably knock temp uh, my little Tempest, the Chimchar, out. I just decided to knock it out, which was... It, I didn't want to, but it was either that or pull a mulligan, because that was literally the first, first encounter I would have tried for. So if it did knock me out, the, it would have ended right there on episode 2. And that, that, that just would have been ridiculous. Anyway, after that I went and tried Route 201, where I found one of those evil Charizards, and promptly knocked that out with a critical hit. But I had better luck at Lake Verity, and I was able to scoop up a new member to the team. We have Murray now, who is the Dark Water Snubble. And you might notice he did level him up just a little bit. Uh, there's no grinding montage, just because I literally came up into the patch of grass that was right next to me. I found another Zuicune, and being a dark type, he couldn't be hit by its psychic moves. So he just sat there and blasted it with a couple of dark pulses. It fainted, and he went up two levels. That was that was it. It took me like 10 seconds to do. He's got a timid nature, so his attack stat is a little bit lower, but in exchange his speed has gone up. He has early bird, so he will awaken faster if he's ever put to sleep. And as you can see, this little guy has a lot of coverage. He's got muddy water, razor leaf, superpower, and dark pulse. Then, like I mentioned, Tempest is our starter. He's a flying-type chimchar. Brave Nature, which I believe is the opposite of Timid, so his attack is higher and in exchange he moves a little bit slower. It's got Frisk, which means that if a Pokemon is ever holding a hold item... Holding a hold item... Redundancy is redundant. Anyway, if a Pokemon is ever holding something, he will let me know about it. And he currently has Tailwind, Signal Beam, and the completely useless Magnet Rise because he is already immune to ground type moves. So there's no reason I'm ever going to click Magnet Rise unless I need to burn a turn for some reason. And something I re remembered between episodes is down here on Route 219. I can't get the encounter because I don't have a rod and I can't surf, but there is an item. Ooh, and it's a lemonade. Oh, that's handy. I mean, a little overpowered right now because doesn't it heal like... It heals like 80 HP, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's like enough to heal these either one of these guys like four times over. So I don't think I'll need to use that anytime soon. At least I hope not. And something silly old me forgot to do before I started recording was actually heal Murray. Alright, as for this episode, I'm going to try and get to Jubilife, T uh, Jubilife City, uh, take care of whatever is there, and hopefully grab another encounter or two. I hope. Uh, again, one out of three so far is not good. But, you never know. Alright, and let's go ahead and tiptoe through the grass. Please, nothing show up on me. <sighs> okay. Now, these trainers I don't think I can avoid. Yep. Okay, please be nice. Please don't kill either of my two Pokemon. No, our eyes didn't meet. I was looking one direction. You saw me, ran up, and made me turn to you. Rich kid Dudley. Okay, this thing is level 5, and it's a little scary because I don't know what type it is. Um, does Muddy Water have a lower accuracy? Let me just check. Uh, special attack is 9. Okay. Uh, Muddy Water is 85, and Dark Pulse is 100. So, I'd rather blast it with the Dark Pulse. Amnesia! Okay, fine. Raise your special defense. Ooh, but that might mean you're a psychic type. Yep. Well, at the very least, it's weak to dark, so it's either a psychic or a ghost. Gravity. Okay. Can the Spiro just not hit me? That would be fantastic. Yeah, I don't think the Spiro actually has an offensive move right now, so... Okay. Bye-bye. There we go. Alright, now Murray's definitely going to hit at least level 5, because he had like two experience left to go. 
Alright, not bad. And, oh wow, almost up to six. Hey, there's the 80 bucks I lost in the last two episodes. Hmm. I don't think there's any hidden items around. But I'm kind of keeping my eyes out for suspicious little spots. And you're going to want to battle me too, aren't you? Alright. Uh, this is something I didn't want to take care of in in between episodes. Cool Trainer Cristiano. Okay, Ninclada. That's not... I mean, I do have same strength on for these trainers, so hopefully these things aren't going to blow me away with anything. And why did I say that? All I did was just tempt the game. Shadow Punch. Okay, I... Yeah, I resist that. And that might mean you're a ghost type. Apparently so. Wow, little Murray is putting in so much work right now. Go Murray. No, I don't think I've ever actually raised a Snubble in an official game yet. He's got a speed-boosting nature, but his speed is his lowest stat. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't think I've actually raised a Snubble. I wonder what level they evolve at. Oh, crap. Get out of the grass. Oh, God, what's... Wait, no, I know this music. Okay, hello. Um... I would love to try and catch you, even though I probably have about as much chance catching you as I do this week, Uh... Can I get away? Oh, God, no. Okay, Murray, you're gonna have to kill this thing. Go for superpower? Whirlpool. Are you a water type? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. N okay, well, you're... You have to be part ghost. Okay. Okay. Come on, Murray. If you can one-shot this thing... Yeah, Murray! Oh my god, you're a little monster. Okay. Why is this game so scary? Why are there Regiprox and Suicunes out here? Hyper voice? Um... That's, that's normal type, isn't it? I mean, you're not a normal type, which sucks. Um, you know, let me check something. 55, 95, high crit chance. 90, 100. So... I mean, technically it's better than Razor Leaf, but the thing is, Normal can't hit anything for super effective damage, so I'd almost rather keep Razor Leaf for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, what... I mean, it's... It's powerful... But I don't want to lose anything he's already got. Okay, now can I please get to Jubilife safely? Okay, I guess Regirock's back. He wants round two. Okay. Okay. At least I know now. Dark Pulse in your face. Oh, man, you guys have no idea how fast my heart stopped when that... When the, the screen started twirling around like that. I don't want to... Great, now he's level 8. He's a lot higher than I actually wanted him to be. His speed is still pathetic. I don't want these guys to level up anymore because... They're going to get too powerful to, to weaken anything else. Yeah, no, well, hopefully you're not going to win. Rich Kid Joe. Zubat. Okay. Okay, you're a fire type, I guess? Maybe? Either way, I'm fine against that. What's with all the trapping moves, actually? Dirty Rock had Shadow Tag and Whirlpool, and this Zubat has Fire Spin. And Murray just crit it to another dimension. Alright. Tiny little bit of money, that's not... That's actually kind of helpful. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... Uh, come... 
Okay, hi Don. Apparently there's more dialogue to go through. Hi Euclid, are you catching Pokemon? Uh, um, I think I'd, you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. Believe me, I want to. You know, like when you need to travel to faraway places. Oh, I know. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. I know just the place. Come on, don't be shy. Follow me. Oh, uh, the uh, trainer schools? That man, what is he doing? Oh, jeez, I didn't even... actually didn't see him behind the light post. Um... Oh, what voice do I want to do for Looker? What? How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the International Police? Huh? What? I, I beg your pardon? I was just making conversation. Heh. <laughs> you claim you're only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, 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 no. You recognize right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Quite admirable you are. Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am a globe-trotting elite of the International Police. My name... Ah, no. I shall inform you only of my code name. My code name. It is Looker. It is what they all call me. Incidentally, is the saying, Don't be a thief familiar to you? Yeah. Because it's... It's bad and wrong to take th stuff from other people without asking for it. Anyway. Wow, I... That sounded like I was talking to everybody like they were children. That was very condescending. Anyway. Yes, that is correct. Taking what belongs to others is wrong. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others, like apparently every other reason. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for characters arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. Oh, the verse recorder. So, no, because this is being emulated, the verse recorder is pretty much useless to me. Yeah, I don't... I don't need to... Basically all it would be is if you were to uh, battle like a friend over connect wireless connection or something, you could record the battle and watch it back later to figure out like what you did well, what you did wrong, and so on. Also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, for I am on duty. Actually, yes. Yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I am lonely. No, 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 no. You must inform me of the bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. Later, dude. Working for the International Police must be hard. Well, don't encourage him, Don. Well, actually, no, thanks to the Pokemon Generation shorts, we know that he's actually kind of a badass. Euclid, here it is. It's the trainer school. The name says it all. I saw your friend Bastes going earlier. He could still be in there studying. Okay, bye now. Alright. Now what I wanted to do... was heal little Murray... And unfortunately, I think there's some things around Jubilife that I have to take care of, and as annoying as it is, they're probably going to take the rest of this episode. I was hoping to at least try for one more encounter. Uh, actually, I think I might be able to. No, not there. Wait, how much money do I... Oh, hang on, how many Pokeballs do I have? I have seven. I've got three hundred and sixty dollars to my name. That's not going to be an, that's that's not going to be enough. Nope, I thought so. Invisible or scripted barrier. Yeah, all right. So, like I was afraid of, there I do have to take care of the scripts around Jubilife City to actually go out into a new route. It's a little bit annoying, but one thing I do want to do. Do you want to battle? Okay, no, he's just saying that some Pokemon come out depending on the day. Well, unfortunately, it's probably mo going to be mostly nighttime when I record this, just because I record at night. And I think the only way to do that, or to change that, is to change the time on my computer. But anyway, I want this item. A Thunderst? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, that could either be a great find for later, or totally worthless, depending on what I find. Anything there? Ooh, okay, well that is totally worthless. I think those are only used in Hull, and I think they're just left in the game as legacy data. Uh, let's see here. Anyone want to give me an item? Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm not going to be reading a lot of this text. Uh, one, one good tip 
if you're new to Pokemon, is whenever you get to a new city, run around and talk to everybody. Because oftentimes there's certain NPCs that will give you stuff. And oftentimes they can be hidden in plain sight. So you could, if you don't talk to everyone, you could easily walk right past a, a really good item. Now I think NPC items are going to be uh, kept as whatever they are. But that could still come in handy. Do you have anything for me? Yeah, that's a wireless place. No point in going here yet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's no items over there. That's just a wireless thing. So again, if you're playing on a DS, you could probably use it. Although, since the old Nintendo Wi-Fi connection is gone now, I don't know if that even can be used. Any of you want to... No. I'm well, there's something here. A wave and... Ooh! Doesn't that boost the power of water moves? Yep, it does. Here you go, Murray. That'll make your muddy water even more powerful. Yeah, because I have nothing better to let you hold. Alright, uh, basically, also if you're new to Pokemon, you can come here to the trainer school, and these the people here will usually give you tips about uh, the game. You can look up status conditions and how they work usually on the board. Hello, Bastess. Hey, Euclid, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? See, so, Euclid, what brings you, huh? You've got something for me? Oh yeah, I need to give you that. So, what is this? Score, it's a town map! It, huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Euclid, you can take the other one. There we go. Hmm. Now, according to the town map, I guess Warburg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just got. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around! And off he darts again. So, I believe you should be able to... Yeah, so you can look at the various status conditions here. And they're relatively straightforward when you think about it. Let's see, you learn Pokemon... Mm-hmm. Alright, now I think... These two want to paddle. Yeah. Alright. And I think if you beat the two of them, they give you something. Rich Boy Lawrence. A s Spiracle. Okay, this thing is actually a bit terrifying, because like I said, I think I have uh, move reordering on. Well, I mean, apparently I don't, considering the craziness that this little guy had at level 2, but... Basically, what move ordering should do is put weaker moves earlier in the move set, and that sounds okay until you get poke to Pokemon with limited move sets like Smeargle. If a po basically, if a Pokemon learns very few moves over the course of its level up, it'll typically have very powerful ones regardless. So this thing is actually a little terrifying. Okay, not a fan of that. Please, Dark Pulse, knock this thing out. Okay, I don't like that. Flamethrower! Okay, I mean, I resist. I don't think Smurgle's stats are that great. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Go, alright. Take down the Smurgle. Alright. I really should switch back to Tempest. This guy's, this little guy's getting out of control. But to be fair, when you've only got two Pokemon, it's kind of hard to keep them from getting too overpowered. Especially when the game locks you down with so much scripting of right off the bat. Yeah. Alright, so, you know what, Murray? You swap places with Tempest. And... Don't you... I, yeah, I think I have to actually beat both before they give me something. And you know what? Just, I'm just gonna kind of speed up a bit. Okay, well... Get yourself... Okay. Okay, calm down. Apparently I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't think I got move... I don't think move reordering stuck, actually. Do I just keep blasting it? I mean, it's confused. Unfortunately, this isn't telling me... Stop! 
How are you doing that? You're confused and cross shop is like 70% accurate. Three cross chops. Stop it. Just stop it. Go away. <sighs> Alright. That was a little annoying. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. That's another special attack, which you seem to be excelling at. And Magical Leaf actually can't miss. Alright. Ooh, free potion. I will take that. I will happily take that, considering I am a poor monkey right now. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I think there's something else. Yeah, this guy. I remember you. So, I have to do one more silly little quest. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketch. That is Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotion campaign. All you have to do is find the three clowns in Jubilee City. If you find them, I will gift you with a Poketch. Yep, so I believe, once again, or if I tried to go out to the east again, Looker will stop me until I get a Poketch. I am a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yep, it sure does. Pokemon grows stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some even grow into an entirely different form in a process known as evolution. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. Yep. So there's two more. They're pretty out in the open and they're easy to recognize. I think the next one's over here. Yeah, there he is. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes, I can. Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go. Alright, and I believe clown number two is over here. There he is. Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types? That is correct. If the Pokemon's type matches its move type, that move is made much more powerful. So a little bit more trivia about how the game works. Or tips about how the game works, I guess. And now I do believe I have to come all the way back over here. There you go. You don't need to use the poke catch to count the three, dude. Calm down. I mean, it's a nice little doodad, but you really don't need it that much. Alright, there we go. And finally, my bottom, my bottom screen is not just a little boring design. Alrighty. So this is basically the functionality for the touchpad in this game. We get a little watch on the bottom screen. And at the moment, we can cycle it between a digital clock, a quick look status screen for a Pokemon, and a little manual counter. I believe, oh, and a calculator, and yeah, just that. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave this on uh, as is, just so that I don't uh, get a little confuzzled. Is it just me, or is that lagging the game? Let me see. Alright, maybe I'll just leave it as a, a clock or something. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hold on. Alright. Uh, I'm going to leave it as that just because it doesn't seem to be helping anything out. I hope that's not too terrible. Now, I think... Yes! Alright. So now I can go fishing in water. Oh, no, I don't need... Yeah. Alright, alright. No, I don't... Oh my gosh. No, I said no! Why did you tell me... Uh, anyway. Okay, we're running out of time. Why is it lagging in Jubilife all of a sudden? That is horrible. I do apologize. I thought my laptop would be... A little bit strong enough to do this. It was fine up until I got this stupid little poke etch. Anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop drawing attention to it just in case it's fine on this on the actual recording. Okay. So those two guys should be fully healed now. And they are. Hmm. 
Alright, well, because I don't want the episode to end on just me running around, kind of just getting caught up through the early part of the game, let's go ahead and have one encounter for the fun of it, shall we? Out here, Route 218. Actually, let's fish off of... Ooh, hello. Light clay. What does that do? I don't... Doesn't that... Uh, extends the duration of light screen and reflect. Okay, so... Not bad. Not terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and try out the... Where is it? The old rod. Let's actually go ahead and register that. So I don't have to keep going into the bag whenever I want to use it. And what do I pull up? What do I pull up? I pulled up a... Vibrava! Okay. That's not bad. You're level 9. Uh, Magic Leaf? Roleplay. Okay, so you just took my Frisk ability. Okay. Alright. Do you only have roleplay? And that wouldn't be... That's good, because then you can't possibly knock me out. But that's worrying, because... That would make training you a big pain in the butt. Come on. Okay, easy. Tempest, I don't need you doing another crit on it. Or another crit like you did with the Charizard. Oh, come on. Agility. Okay, so we've seen roleplay and we've seen agility. I don't know if this thing has anything else. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Click! Yes! Okay. That's actually a little reassuring to have a third guy on the, uh, or a third mod on the team. Let's see. Psychic type. Vibrava the Vibration Pokemon. It violently shudders its wings, generating ultrasonic waves to induce headaches in people. Um... Let's see. Psychic type. Can make headaches. Um... This is not exactly a great nickname, but it'll have to do, just because it's the first thing I can think of, and I don't want to sit here for a few minutes trying to think of a better one. We now have... I think that's how it's spelled. Okay, hold on, just, just one second. Just one little second, I want to make sure I spell it right. Uh, yeah, I spelled it right, okay. So we now have Migraine the Psychic-type Viprava. Let's check her out, shall we? Yeah. Alright, Psychic type. Uh, hardy nature, I don't remember what that does. Ooh, lightning rod. Oh wait, no. Shoot, I think this is the generation before lightning rod got buffed to also make you immune to it? So, I mean, that's not too bad because a lot of, like, 99% of the battles in this game are, are single battles. You have got crazy stats across the board. Holy cow. Um, okay. Okay, I'm very glad this thing decided to play it easy. We have Cycle Cut, which is going to be great, if a little bit too powerful. And Lunar Dance, which I believe is Cresselia's signature move. And that knocks this Pokemon out. In exchange, it fully heals whoever else is in the party. And before anybody asks, yes, if a Pokemon knocks itself out with its own move, like Lunar Dance or Self-Destruct, that still counts as it's fainting, so I'm going to dump Lunar Dance as soon as I possibly can. Actually, it suddenly dawned on me, speaking of moves... Oh my gosh! Rowan gave me the TM for Seed Flare. Holy cow. Alright, can anybody use this? Nope. Alright. So, I have Shaman's signature move in a TM, and nobody can do it. Well, I feel like that's kind of a good example of how this Nuzlocke is going so far. But anyway, I digress. It's been about half an hour, and I need to wrap this episode up. So, as I run back to the Pokemon Center, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had a great time, 
and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next episode, and farewell for now.